Hey everyone, Panda back with you, and you know what? Looks like I'm on Second Life, right? But guess what? I'm not. This is my uh, first experience in Open Sim. Open Sim, of course, uh, everything so far for me using the Firestorm Viewer functions literally the same exact way as it does in Second Life. Now, one thing to keep in mind you do have to download a special version of the Firestorm Viewer meant for Open Sim. Your Firestorm Viewer for Second Life is not going to uh, work for Open Sim. So basically, I have two different Firestorm Viewer uh, things on my desktop one for Open Sim, one for Second Life. Now, let me tell you a little bit about what I know about Open Sim. It's obviously very similar to Second Life. Everything seems to function. Uh, it's very familiar. I ended up here because a friend of mine from Second Life actually quite some time back had mentioned to me about coming to Open Sim, And I kind of just blew it off. I mean, well, I didn't really try to blow it off. I was just really busy and didn't pay much attention to it. And then she uh, got back to me uh, just a few days ago uh, with a grid owner that she knows on Open Sim, and gave me her contact information on Facebook. And she got a hold of me, and I got you know basically got back to her at the same time. And it was through a special invite that I got onto this particular grid. Now, what I can tell with Open Sim is there are some grids you from what I gather, you can get into. Now, what each grid has, how they run it, that's gonna depend on you know the grid owners. The grid I'm on, Barefoot Dreamers, very helpful, very friendly individuals and staff. I, I, I'm, I'm actually very impressed and very happy. And where I'm at right here, this is some land that I bought. And yes, this is my land right here. You come here. Yeah, this is my land. Just like if you were to buy land in Second Life, you know, I'm the owner. I am the owner of this land. You know, you're not technically renting the land. I mean, yeah, you're buying it from them. But here's, here's the interesting thing here I want you guys to take away. 65,000 square meters five dollars a month at least on this particular grid Twenty thousand prims you all know as well as i do what this would cost you in second life just to buy it outright not to mention the monthly uh uh tier fee you'd have to pay for it insane now there are a couple of cons when it comes to open sim from what I can tell so far well number one if you start it you know you are gonna have to start with a complete brand new vanilla tune and you know the supply as far as what's available for you to buy it may vary from grid to grid and you're not going to have that necessary access like you do on Second Life to your most current things or thousands of items that, well, you're going to pay for out of your own pocket or with the actual game currency. So far, on this particular grid, I have not had to pay one penny to buy the currency, to buy anything that I have. I'm not overly picky. Yes, I do like realism. I do like a good looking avatar and the capability does exist to do that here. I just haven't explored too far into it yet. Myself, my personal experience, I am very happy with it. Let's go ahead and uh, go check something out really quick. Um, landmarks, obviously my parcel. And you can set uh, your own Maturity rating for your parcel as well. So let's go ahead and go back. Uh, let's go to the welcome area here. This is the main grid where the owners, it's the welcome area for the main grid. 
So it should be safe to come here. Just kind of check this out. Yeah, this is what we have right here. I mean, the only money that the real life money I've paid is for the monthly land prices. And, you know, I, I didn't understand how this converted to, uh, like, say, compared to Second Life, but a one by one is basically 65,000 square meters. I mean, that is insane, guys. Oh my gosh. You know, the, the, the second con you're going to find, too, there's not that many people that are necessarily populating the grid. That can be different with different grids. And myself, I don't mind that. Because the people that are around, you have a better chance of getting connected with those individuals. And, I mean, kind of being like your own like little family. You may not be in their inner circle, and that's totally understandable, you know, with people that are managing and owning the grid. But to kind of feel like you're a part of something and actually... Not just be someone that you randomly have an encounter with one day and maybe never ever see again for you know two or three years on Second Life. To me, that's very valuable. It really is. Let's go ahead and take a look. Not a lot here, you know, but the nice thing is there is stuff going on. Yep, this is their grid. There's a teleport board right there. And of course, it's all general rated right here. But the nice thing is, you know, as I said, you can change if you buy your own uh, parcel of land from uh, the grid owners. You can set everything. You have full permissions. I mean, they even have a like a God mode type of thing, which I have never, ever experienced or heard about. But no, I just think it's totally awesome. I, I, yeah, I've got so much to do on, on that piece of property that I'm doing right now. It's, it's just crazy. I'm just going to have a heyday. Never going to have to worry about prims. Honestly, I think I'd have to go out of my way to actually use all the prims. I know it's possible, but 20,000 prims. Oh my God. Seriously. Yeah. I'm happy. So, you know, if you guys are thinking about open sim, you know, definitely give it a try. You know, maybe it's a little break from Second Life. I mean, it's not going to cost you anything to uh, get over to it. Excuse me, man. And if you know anybody that's on Open Sim that happens to know the grid owners, you know, like the uh, person, the friend of mine did, you, you can get a special invite because they have to give you that grid information for you to manually enter in. You know, kind of like a code. Actually, it kind of reminds me of uh, like clear back in the days of like Vent when you had to enter it in, you enter the numbers in and everything else. But yeah, this is kind of what it is. Yeah, this is a little tell of my first experiences in open sim on this particular grid. I'm really enjoying it and I will be back with you guys with future videos as I make progression on my particular piece of land and whatever I'm trying to develop it into. Other than that, you guys keep safe out there. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.